they go out and bid on these jobs and get them. And then they try to get somebody to subcontract it from them. And that's actually what it was. So they hired these 22 guys, sent them up to show us Canadians how to do the changeover. And I thought they were all experienced, you know, and here I'm sitting there, and the guy's telling me how they did it down in California. And I uh, says, oh, you guys are, well, you, well it's good, you're experienced. I says, well, we never had anything like this up here before. Oh, we we'll show you, Scotty, how to do it. And I said to him, well, how big was the change? Oh, uh, pretty big. We went from 50 to 60 cycles. And I'm drinking a coffee, and I, I says, I says, I says, well, I says, you, I says, you didn't make any mechanical changes at all. Oh, yeah, we had to change belts and pulleys. I said, oh, Christ, I said, Christ, up here we got to change motors and relays and transformers. I said, ah. So I says to this guy, so, so your experience? So he says, uh, yeah. well, yeah, we had pretty, pretty, pretty good. I said, how long were you on? He said, oh, we were on it for about three years. I says, well, I says, fine. I says, I hope you got some ideas how to turn over the, change over the heating equipment. Never had any heating equipment. He says, that's why we're hiring you. I said, oh, no, I thought I was just going to be going out doing the survey, that's all. I said, oh, so you're hiring me from what I know, not from what I'm going to be doing now for the next year. Yeah, I said, oh, that makes a little difference. So you didn't even know what you were doing? I knew what I was doing, but they didn't know what I was doing. I never did figure it out. I was there for five years. All I know is I was a, I was a so far ahead of them guys, they could never catch up to me. I always had the answers. I was way ahead of them. <laughs>